Hello, hello, and welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep. My name's Jason Newland. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Um, it's warm in here. It is warm. And I'm actually using a different camera for the first time in a while. Uh, so there might be a video, there might not be a video, it depends on whether or not there's enough space on the disc for this video. So, um, what I thought I might do is make fun of people. <laughs> so, um, I, my website's jasonnewland.com and if you are watching on YouTube, I've got my water. If you're watching on YouTube, my this recording is also available on my podcast, and it's available in four different versions with music or without music. With music, five hours and ten hours. So. Before I start, let me do my gratitude. I think of something that I'm gratitude and all for. I'm feeling grateful that, well, two things actually. I managed to get a fair bit of work done on the website and I, I call it administration side of things. So uh, I'm in the process of rebuilding the website, jasonnewland.com. So that's going well. I've been uploading the recordings that you can download, like all four versions. I've been downloading, well, uploading those to. I've been doing the relax and sleep hypnosis daily. So I'm up to about 160 or something out of 200 and something. So yeah, it's going quite well. Also, I've been making the archive recordings on video of the Let Me Boy to Sleep. So I've now made 60 so far. So I'm quite pleased about that. I, I, I kind of thought about should I do it or not. And I did post a question or a, a poll on my facebook group which is jason newland's boring group join if you dare and i basically it came up pretty much no don't bother I, my question was should i make them into videos and into youtube and do all the old archive stuff for the let me boy to sleep because i did it for everything else and most people said no but I think a couple of people said yes. So I thought, oh. And then um, it's been a few weeks ago that I did that. And now I've started thinking, well, maybe I will start doing it. Do like 10, maybe upload 10 a day or something like that. So, or release 10 a day. I might upload 40 or 50 a day, but I'll release 10 a day. And it'll just, it'll just take a few months and then it'll all be up to date and then yee, clear sailing. And you never know. Some of the stuff might be worth watching or listening to. It's possible. Do I look red? Blimey. I always look red. There's a lot of light. To be fair, it didn't look like I needed that much light in here, but it's hard to tell till afterwards. Really. So. Blimey. We've now got very loud music downstairs. I hope that you can't hear that. I can't really complain. I can, but it's, yeah, no, I will, I'm going to complain, I'm not, I'm not going to complain to them, 
but it's just uh, it's just not my type of music. It's very kind of um, bassy, hard dancing kind of stuff. I've never been into dance music really. Uh, it's not totally true. I was quite into dance music, probably in the nineties when I was a DJ. So I used to listen to it and I used to play it. So I kind of quite liked some of the the 90s dance stuff. Everybody's free to feel good. Stuff like that. That was good. As an example. Right. So what I thought I would do today. Because something. I've got a question. It's a question, but it's still a question, and it's a question. And my question is, what's going on with Facebook? I'm confused. And you might think, well, what do you mean? Why are you confused? Um, okay. I... Let's, get, let's move that away. Blimey. Right. So, the amount of Facebook posts that doesn't make sense to me, where people don't, they, they put a post and they don't say who they're talking to. They don't aim it at a person. Like, who are you talking about? So what I thought I'd do is go through my Facebook and just see some of these posts, Okay. You're right. Right. I gotta find Okay, it's not one. But oh, now that I can't now that I wanna find stuff, I can't find anything. Nope. Let's right, okay. I'm not going to say that one either. What okay? So, this isn't a good example because I'm trying to. Oh, Terence Crawford apparently. Accepts Canelo's terms for a fight at £168. Canelo, let's do it. I always said, man, that's a big step. But for a person to go up three weight classes from 147 to 168 and to win and become undisputed, wow, what can they say? They can't say nothing. It's... Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's a doggy. It looks a bit like Vinny. We have been posting Jamie every single day for, and now she has basically no interest in her. Okay. See, that's okay. This isn't. This is really boring because why is it normally? Well, it's not working. I normally get these posts, but this is just adverts. Just nothing but adverts. Why is that? I'm not seeing people's actual posts. I'm just seeing a bunch of crap. Like, oh, I know what I've done. Nope, that's my profile page. <laughs> that's why it's so much rubbish. It's just ad for like Ladbrook and Songoven and Passion Dan and. Happy left handers day to all my lefties. Yeah, all right. I am good with this and I love my own company. Right, that's a post that's one post. Let's have a look at another post. Right, again, adverts, adverts. This is quite good. I told my wife she needs to embrace her mistakes. So she gave me a hug. Oh, that's good. 
So this song says, Some people cannot remember the last time they experienced pain. I cannot remember the last time I had a pain-free day. Which is horrible, but... How does she know that some people can not remember having ever had pain? I notice that a lot with um, having dealt with people with chronic pain. It's it's all in all consuming. I understand, but it's all consuming. And um, even when I had uh, that toothache that I had at the beginning of the year, absolutely ridiculous. It was like I couldn't. It was my wisdom tooth, so it was pretty deep. Quite, a, you know, wasn't nice. <laughs> but at no point was I thinking I'm the only one ever, and no one else, no one else has ever had a toothache like this, because I know that's not true. It's it's a weird mentality to have. Um. I guess it's the mental ill health as well that comes along with it. I suppose with depression, no one's ever felt this way before. Well, yeah, probably have. Professional, how are your song mastering? See, here's, here we go, here we go, okay. This is an American, obviously. I was reminded to... Here's another thing, is people don't post their own words. They repost other people's words. So, they're not thinking for themselves. I noticed that a lot on Facebook. Like, say something original. Even if it's boring like me, just say something, just say something. But... No, I'm going to repost. And quite often I don't even say where they've reposted it from. Anyway, I won't I won't read that one out because it's just a attack on a future president or previous president. There's a lot of votey stuff on Facebook at the moment with American people like we don't get quite as I mean there was a little bit of votey stuff here but our elections don't last for two years it's just crazy isn't it you get, you get elected in America and then like right what's the first thing that we need to do well we need to show you around Mr. President or Miss, Mrs. President, and uh, got to show you, you know, what's what. Here's all the secret files. Uh, that's where all the UFOs are. That's what really happened, happened with JFK and Martin Luther King. And what's the second thing? Well, we have to start planning for the next election. Wow. So, it is another one. Every single day, I seem to see another rehashing of a story about Keanu Reeves. Every day. Uh, it's either this one, oh, there's a bloke who was on a... Um, he helps someone on a set, and he's done this, and he's done that, which is great. But I don't know why people keep posting it. And it's always, they say, wow, that's amazing. So there's one about Keanu Reeves, I don't know how to say his name properly. There's another one about Sylvester Stallone, how he sold his dog. He sold his dog so that because he ran out of money and he didn't have enough money to live on, so he sold his dog. And then when he sold his script, he um, he bought his dog back for ten thousand dollars. Well. He sold his dog. There are people that would not do that. If I couldn't eat, I wouldn't sell Vinny because I couldn't eat. There's a perfectly good meal there. I'm sure I could squash him in the oven. Nah, 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 nah. I'm just joking, blimey. Um, right, again... 
Is this is ru absolute rubbish on Facebook. I, I just, just can't look at it. This it's hard to find anybody that actually I can see their posts. Well, turn Facebook purple overdose awareness month. So again, this is something they've posted, reposted it, but it's, it's a good good one actually. You'd think that the part of the brain that used to remember phone numbers would take over remembering passwords. But no. So it's good that people are... But come up with your own stuff. Not, not, it's not to that person, just to end generally. That's my challenge. Come up with some stuff of your own. Post that on Facebook. You never know. Not political. It's my challenge to end on a Facebook. Post your own opinion, your own joke or something like that. Something that no one else has said before. That's my challenge. That's my challenge. Even if it's boring, like me. That music's horrible down there. It's not, it's just boom, moo, moo, moo. It's not even music. I'm getting old, I know. It's just, it's like migraine, migraine music. Unhealthy, I think. See, it got so, I feel the problem is I haven't, oh, here we go. If only you stopped the boats as quick as you did winter fuel payments, imagine. Keep this going, please. So someone shared that, and now it's okay. I'm not really into the whole getting bothered, bogged down with boats. That's a big thing in the UK at the moment. A lot of, like to talk about boats. Never had a boat. There's a dog here, it looks just like Vinny. Apart from, well, doesn't really, it looks a little bit like him. Oh, wait a minute, it's a cat. Yeah, there's a big thing at the moment all about the old uh, boats. Stop the boats. Stop the boats. Whoa. Right, again, it's more crap. You may be old, but I got to see the world before it went to... Oh. I may be old. You know what? People have been moaning about the world. For, I reckon even... Yeah, I reckon even in caveman days, the old, you know, the elders, which would probably be, and then the elders then would probably be about 35, talking to the 13-year-olds, the, the adults... So they were talking to the the younger generation, saying, "You don't know what it used to be like when I was when I was your age, twelve years ago. Oh, things were a lot a lot better back then. Things are crap now. Oh, yeah, dinosaurs. We had dinosaurs. We still do have dinosaurs. And then they said, "Yeah, but not everyone believes in them now, do they? I wonder if Jesus believed in dinosaurs." Hmm. Hmm. So I think, yeah, it's normal to moan about what's happened. You know, moaning about like, oh, it's so much better, so much better when I was young. Let me think. Hmm. Didn't have the internet. I didn't have a nice telly. When I was young, was it better? Or well, when I was 16, I was living above a chip shop. I was working loads of hours, getting paid practically nothing. And I wasn't happy. I wasn't, I didn't want, wasn't better off. Okay, I had my health, I suppose. 
but not mental, not mentally, physically, I had my health, but I wasn't eating enough. Uh, no. Okay, let's skip forward to the 90s, during my 20s. I had no money. I was doing crappy temporary jobs for most of the 90s when I worked. Uh, I had a security job that wasn't very well paid. Living in East London. Not a particularly good lifestyle. Didn't have any money really to do anything. So yeah, that, that was, uh, yeah, wasn't a great, great time. I mean, there was good parts of it, comedy clubs and stuff, but I didn't really get any show any respect at the comedy clubs. Oh, woe is me. But you know, it's just a fact. I've made a few friends, but it's only really the end of the 90s that things picked up a bit. 2000s I uh, worked in insurance I was earning a little bit more money which is better but for the first what three years I was living in the YMCA building which is full of asylum seekers so I know what it's like to le live in a refugee hotel where you know which was fine I didn't, didn't care but it definitely had a few issues there's a lot of um, problems between the the locals and the the new the new uh, entries to the UK, and I saw that I saw a riot once in the car park. Ended with uh, quite a horrible ending actually, but it was yeah, it's weird, very strange. But then I was drinking, constantly drinking alcohol. All the way through the 90s, all the way through 2000s, really. Yeah. So 2000s weren't great. 2000 and the, the 70s weren't good. 77 picked up a bit. 78, 79. Yeah, they were probably a bit better years. They were the best years of the 70s, it was like those, I mean, they might have had a good couple of years in the 70s early on, that I don't remember, but, yeah, 80s, I quite liked being at junior school for like 79, 90 and 80, those two years, at junior school, that was quite easy, and I just did my own thing really didn't really bother anyone and reading books and stuff probably my favourite time yeah probably my favourite time of my whole life was probably when I was about 14 doing karate obsessed with martial arts I had a paper round so I could afford to I think my paper round was in the morning so I, uh, I could afford to do karate I could afford to get weights and I had a little gym at the bottom of the garden and yeah that's probably my probably my favorite time of my life possibly was about 1984 um yeah. I had a couple of quite good years, ninety eight, ninety nine. They were pretty good, kind of like not, not too bad years. Good good for social aspects. Dating and things like that. Um hmm. Trying to think, 2000s, 2000s and, uh, uh, mm, probably going to, you know, 2006, that was probably the best year of 2000s, 
2006, because that's when I started doing this stuff. That's when I started doing, making videos, sticking it on MySpace, and and then uh, making podcasts, and then 2007 doing YouTube, and again making podcasts, and then I was doing the free pain relief service in my local town, and I was volunteering at both the drug and alcohol places doing relaxation sessions so that was a, a nice and I was working part time so that was a nice period and then I went to university in the October or September October 2007 so that was quite a nice quite a decent period in a way um During university, I guess that was quite a good time-ish in some ways, but I was living in someone else's house. That wasn't particularly nice. It wasn't horrible, but it was just... I didn't feel particularly welcome there by the... at least the, the daughter that lived there. She didn't seem to like me being there. I mean, she was an adult. She was in her 30s, I think, or late 20s, so... But I was a lodger. She was, was still living at home. She didn't. She'd always like jump when I walked into the room. I said, "Like I've been living here." Uh, to us, I said to her, "I've been living here for two years now." She said, "Yeah, but you could wear some clothes." I said, "Yeah, that's fair enough." So, but she'd like, oh, I'd walk, or I'd actually be in the kitchen, looking through the cupboard looking through the drawers, you know, trying to find some money and stuff. But, you know, and, she, and she, I turn around, I, oh, you made me jump. I, you've had students living in this building, in this in this house. Students have been living there since she was a kid. Like, for 20 years, students have been living there in those two rooms that are when, well, I say 20 years, 10 years or whatever. It's like, You'd be used to it by now, surely. Anyway, I didn't say that to her, but that's what I thought to myself. I'm being nostalgic today for some reason. Started off wanting to make fun of Facebook and couldn't find anything on there. So, I felt quite, there was a nice period. A nice period in... Because with Mind, I don't know if I've told you this, in Mind, which is where I did my, um, I was counselling for Mind for a while. And they gave me, I had a, an interview with them. I was qualified counsellor, had an interview in 2000 and 10. Was it 2010? Yeah, I think it was 2010, 2009, somewhere, sometime. And the the lady that was in charge of mine in, in that area turned me down flat. No, I wasn't suitable. She didn't like me. I don't know why. And before you ask, yes, I was wearing pants. Um. Before you ask again, no, it wasn't on my head. Blimey, what do you think I am? No answer. So I said, and I thought, okay, damn. Well, I became a counsellor with, and I think I already was at this point, with another charity, but it was just for free. You know, I didn't get paid for it. And there was volunteers, so I was there. But I got to know some of the other counsellors. And I got to know the counsellors that worked at Mind as well. Because it was a big crossover. Sort of some of the same counsellors. And we'd be going on trainings together. And Vinny's just done the biggest, smelliest fart. Wow. I mean... More than usual. Really way, way more than normal that is. Oh... So, he 
she, he, she, de, we, we, woo, What was I talking about? <laughs> I can't remember what I was talking about now. His fart has erased my brain. Did you know? I study psychology. But your course hasn't started. It doesn't start till October. I listen to audiobooks every day. Uh, and it's just the basics of psychology. But it's really interesting because a lot of the psychology, well, that's why I'm doing the degree. I've been interested in psychology since I was a kid, really. But the there was what was it so the parts of the brain become more active the more they use I guess that makes sense this is like a bicep isn't it it's nothing like a bicep but you know if you or if you if you use your legs a lot then you're probably going to have fairly muscular or slim legs muscular legs probably if you, you know if you're doing a lot of lifting then you might have muscular torso. Uh, if you do a lot of listening, <laughs> you have big flappy ears. I don't know quite how it works. And I always used to have big ears, but I kind of grew into them. You should see me as a baby. Honestly, that I had to have, I had to be in a really heavy pram. Or push chair, really heavy push chair, and uh, I had to get tied in. I had to have bricks in the bottom of it because if the wind caught my ears, the push chair just blow off unless it fly away. So the parts of your brain, though, it was, it was all like lying. People that lie or people that steal, people that do something that they wouldn't normally do. And the more they do it, the easier it is to do it again. Because that part of the brain, whether it's the frontal cortex or whatever it is, I think it might be that part of the brain. And it it weakens the part which says no. I guess the moral <laughs> the moral part of us to say no that's wrong what about that person is would you like that someone to do that to you would you mm. that stops working so well and the more that someone does something chances are they can lead to do more of that and worse because their conscious conscience or whatever is weakened so yeah i just find that stuff interesting how it's so much of what we do and like our brain affects our behavior but our affair our behavior affects our brain it's in the same way as if you relax your body your mind relaxes if you relax your mind your body relaxes you know you slow your breathing your body relaxes. When your body relaxes, your breathing slows down. It's just like all that kind of um, continuous thing that happens. And the, f the fact that we can actually change the neural pathways in our brain and we can grow certain parts because by stimulating certain parts makes certain parts of our brain stronger by repetition and we do that naturally uh, apparently you know someone that learns to play a musical instrument at a very early age has the, the dexterity or the part that's connected to their moving let's say if they play the violin for example which I used to actually when I was about eight no nine nine years old and do that and that part and the the fluidity or the creativity of being able to do that 
oh, I don't really know what I'm talking about. It sounds good though, doesn't it? Partly. And now my left buttock is aching. Oh, how long have I been sitting here for? No way have I been here an hour. No, it's 36 minutes. Really? Why is it saying an hour on there? Oh well. So I apparently if you do that as a kid, then you know when you get like sort of my age, if it, if you're just gonna have more neural pathways created than if you started when you was an adult. But that might just be simply because you've been doing it longer. Hmm. Isn't it? Maybe. But then they say if you learn the best time to learn a language, I come kind of know this anyway. Oh, that was me moving. Um, this is kind of obvious, really. But yeah, the best time to learn a language, to learn a new language, is when you want to, when you're interested. No, it's uh, when you're young, when you're a kid, like a baby, really. When you're learning to speak because the brain is more able to deal with learning more than one language at the same time learning a new language when you get older when we get older is is harder not impossible but it's just harder the older we get but then that might also to be you know we've learned more words i'm sure i know more words now in english than I did when I was three. But I would have been confused. Can you imagine being in the brain of someone? Like a little baby. So they're, they're born in... Let's say they're born in England. They've got... Uh, let's say a French mother. Um, a German... Well, say Chinese mother, father. You know, one one of them's Chinese, speaks Mandarin. The other parent is French, and they're born in England. And the grandmother is from Wales. I don't know. I'm just trying to think. So there's at least three languages that they're going to be speaking. Because both the parents are going to want the child to speak their language. The child's going to have to speak English to get on in this country. Especially as a little kid going to school and that. Uh, everything's in English. All their TV's in English and stuff. Unless you watch a channel that isn't in English. I'm not sure if there is any. Va Vinny has let off a really massive fart again. I hope it's him. I'm starting to get a little bit worried in case it isn't actually him. Oh, man. Wow. It's really bad. I'm talking really bad, like really bad. So, I haven't got the window open because of all the noise. And although I've got the, the sound of the music, but I've got two big mats on the floor, which I hope is drowning the sound of the music a little bit from reaching the microphone. But, yeah. So I find that interesting, the idea that our brains can be affected by what we do, but also because, you know, our brains affect what we do as well. So it's all that thing about free choice. Is it free? Is there free choice? Because brain changes that comes from injuries or stuff like that 
can transform a person's personality. And they've got no choice in that. And isn't that weird? Like someone can be, they like have a have an accident, a trauma to the head, and they can be a different per, like completely different person. You know, go from being um, really spiteful and rude and obnoxious and a thief and a liar to being really kind and generous and uh, a pleasure to be around. And it's not their fault that they've changed and I'm sure all their family was like oh, we just want him back we want this, the old him back we want the liar back we, we we just miss all of our stuff going missing and not being able to believe a single word he says ever but now he's nice he's a pleasure to be around it's just too much I can't handle it but it's not his fault though it's not his fault he can't help it I mean, oh, if only, if only he'd been, if only it'd been the other way round, and it'd be nice to start with. Maybe someone wouldn't have hit him over the head with a, <laughs> with a baseball bat. I, oh, I've never seen someone. Ch- Actually, no, there was this, there was this movie. I don't know if you remember this. If you've seen it, a bloke wakes up, and he can't get within. Oh, God, he's just done another one. It's like stink bombs. You all right? You all right, mate? Stop farting, please. Stop farting. It's a really bad smell. It's the worst of farts. And he's just been out to the toilet. He's been, it's gone. It's not like he's holding it in. He's like, oh, I need a poo, I need a poo. And he's letting a little bit of gas out bit by bit. He, He's just... Which we've all done. Go on, sitting on a train or in a job in <laughs> job interview. You know, it's like, oh, I wish I'd gone for a poo before I got into the into the room with an interviewer. And I know if I just let a little bit of gas out at a time, try not to make too much of a facial expression. And you like you have to make out that the chair's a bit uncomfortable, so you can obviously manoeuvre to let some gas out. And hope that they don't notice. <laughs> they always notice. They always notice. Yeah. God, that noise downstairs. It's just a din. It's like... Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> oh... It's noise. I don't think it's just that I'm, I never liked that kind of music. I moved into a, a place in 2011, which reminds me back to what I was talking about now. Uh, yeah, anyway, 2011, and there's this young, well, they're all young in, well, apart from one lady that was older than me, I think. And but there was quite a few young people living there and there's this bloke and he's living with his girlfriend and they they had like a room similar room to what I had with an ensuite well he, he used to play music it shook the whole building it was so the bass was so strong and I'd go downstairs into the room Nick that was just below him and she'd be sitting there on the bed and just the bed would be shaking and she'd be looking at me I said what I said why don't you say something she said oh no uh, and she was like so I went and spoke to him and he was like just like I suppose you could just keep the bass down a bit and he said oh that's fine no sorry next thing I, I hear him in the garden slagging me off because that's the thing. People would be nice to like, oh, okay. But they're not going to stop the music. If anything, they're going to turn it up louder. That's the weird, that's why it's just, just almost pointless to asking people to turn it down because they might be okay in this in that moment. Like, okay, 
And then like, how dare she knock on my door and ask, oh, I don't want to breathe in. That smells so bad. Oh, me, oh. I hope it's him. That's a really, really bad smell. Unless it's the camera. Or the, cause I've got lights shining, but no, the camera's not going to stink, is it? It'd be weird if it was. No, I think it's him. He's right aimed his yeah, he's right underneath the table with his body contortion towards me, you know, that part. You know. Yeah. So I just think, ah. Uh, I don't know how I even thought about that. What was it? So the bloke, yeah. So one of my good memories is in 2011, beginning of 2011, the lady that used to run Mind left. And her assistant, who I got on really well with, became, or she, I think, I don't I think, Basically, the one that was there before, she became ill or something, so she wasn't in. So her assistant took over, and she started giving me work. So the camera's just run out. They're supposed to, so there's supposed to be six hours of battery on the camera, and it's just, just run out. Oh, well. I'm not sure what to do with that. I mean, if it's got six hours and I've been talking for half an hour, maybe I had it on um, too much of a powerful, like K4, 4K rather. I don't know. I'm going to smell the camera now. Make sure if it was the camera that stunk. I'm glad I've not got this on camera, me smelling the camera. Because that's very strange behaviour. I can relax now. Now that I've got some stupid thing pointing at me. But I've still got all these lights shining on me. Blimey. Nothing like a light shining down on you. Baby! Oh. So... Yeah, so that's good. I can't remember what I was talking. Oh yeah, she st she started giving me. Did I say what I was grateful for? Did I even mention what I was grateful for at the beginning? I can't remember. I remember one of those days. One what? of those, Vinny. What? No, no, mate. Don't even think about it. Otherwise, me and you are gonna fall out. We're going to fall out, fall out, fall out, fall out. No. Stop it. Um, okay, what should we do? Oh, shouting down. Always shouting out there. They literally stand, they stand about two inches away from each other. Put it this way, if those on telly, right, if you're watching them on telly, if you was in America or whatever, and you, you could turn the volume onto mute and you'd still be able to hear them, that's how loud they are. 
Is that an exaggeration? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. It might be an exaggeration. It could be. It standard fifth. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Um, yeah, so it was, yeah, sorry, I've just got distracted then. So I, this lady, she gave me, I remember I was sitting in my room, because I was still lodging in a place where I was living, Stu it was like a student accommodation, but it wasn't really, it was private student accommodation. So I wasn't living in halls of residence or anything like that. Which, knowing how grumpy I am and how I don't enjoy other people's loud music, it's probably a good idea that I wasn't living like that. And let's face it, it wouldn't have been fair, would it? Do you imagine some 19, 18, 19 year old waking up and coming out into the bed, the but you know, the kitchen and seeing me there in my underpants? Smoking my pipe with my moustache and my top hat. I mean, you know, that would have been holding an umbrella for no reason. Just complaining, telling everyone that they don't know how good they got it. In my day, you know. So I probably was better to do that. I think with this new degree that I'm doing in October... I'll be living here, so I got my home, and I'll be doing, I think it's 16 hours a week, Vinny, calm down, just continue licking my feet, thank you, I love it when he licks my feet, I do, it's, uh, no, don't lick your own feet, Lick my, you can lick your own feet anytime, continue with mine, thank you very much, and we stopped farting now, so that's good. Isn't it weird? As soon, as soon as the camera stops working, the farts stop. Do you reckon the camera was somehow activating his bum? I, I don't know how that could be. You never know, do you? I mean, it's, it's, maybe it's some electrical, electrical thing, and it was triggering his fart response or something. I, I don't know. Maybe I should contact Sony, find out if they've uh, ever had any anything like this before. So yeah, this uh, this lady, who was the assistant of the, the counselling coordinator assistant, she took over the counselling coordinator's job temporarily, and she was lovely. I got on really well with her. I'd known her for over a year at this point. And uh, she just started giving me work, giving me clients. And I ended up with about 16 clients a week. I went from nothing to, well, I, I, I went, I had probably four clients a week with the free one, the, 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 char the children's charity. And then I suddenly, within a month or two, probably within a month actually, it's quite quick, I ended up with 16 clients, four to 14 or something with them, and I was getting paid £25 per session, 50 minute session, and I couldn't believe it, Like so it was almost like winning the lottery, not, not financially, but in a sense of I'd worked hard to get to where I was. I'd done the three years degree. I'd, you know, I'd, although I didn't get a good grade as the degree was a third that I got, I passed. But I did do, I excelled with the counselling part of it. Even though it's a counselling degree, but it's the, the coursework I, I didn't do so well on. And that was only because I didn't, I handed it, most of my coursework in late so it was capped at 
40% or something for the last two years. So I had, I mean, I wouldn't have got a, a first, but I would have got probably a, a second. I'd have got a second if I'd have, uh, if I'd have handed all the stuff in on time. So yeah, or one, two, or one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five. Everybody dance, everybody dance. Oh, it's wonderful to be alive. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, I, that was quite good times. It didn't, it was weird because I think about a month after getting the extra work, I was suddenly evicted or given an eviction, an, an eviction letter to get out of the student accommodation because they wanted basically wouldn't, they didn't want me there anymore because I wasn't a student and yeah that was weird so I got into the next place I was trying to think I suppose the next good period was probably when I moved in here 2014 but it, it was and it wasn't if that makes sense because I I moved in here in April but it had only been four months since my grandmother, my nan, had passed away. So I was still 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 kind of dealing with that in a way. And I was given psychotherapy, not for the bereavement, but I was on the waiting list for psychotherapy for about I don't know, a year and a half. And when it finally came through and I started doing it in 2014, I probably spoke more about my nan than about why I was originally given the psychotherapy. And it was, that was for my, you know, mental health stuff. So it's not that it was wasted because it really wasn't, but it was, it wasn't the reason for having it. I didn't talk about my nan the whole time. Um, I also talked about mine, mining and uh, astrology. and I went through a, a phase, uh, you know, whether or not, is it, is it morally wrong to paint elephants? You know, I just went through that. I didn't, you know. My psychotherapist, remained unsure on that one didn't really want to commit so yeah it's just you know (laughs) so yeah that's that's it really Vinny you are so beautiful you're so oh did I tell you about that dog did I tell you about the dog The, the big black one that he kind of lunged at the other day well I saw it I actually saw the owner of that dog with the little dog so I got two because he was with the mother like the big dog was with them with his wife and he was in the park so I told him about what Vinny did and then he was Vinny was off the lead running around with Archie in the park a few couple of hours ago and well it's less yeah it was about an hour and a half ago and he the bloke came in with into the park with this big his big black dog again and Vinny was I thought oh no Vinny's off the lead what's going to happen here Vinny ran over and he laid on his back all submissive I thought good that's nice you know what happened next? Archie started barking at the dog, the big dog. We got Vinny. Vinny jumped to his feet and started growling at the dog as well. It's like, oh man, it's just come on, give me a break. He was doing so well, but no, Archie had to like between the two of them. It, it's they're they're very brave. <laughs> it was. It was a, it was funny, but they didn't they didn't do anything. But they both kind of were barking at this big, huge dog, and the huge dog was reacting, 
not necessarily in a in an uh, an aggressive way, but and then the mother, his wife came running into the park with the little dog, so I don't know she was unsure what was going on because there was all this barking going on and um so she had the little dog as well, but it's a huge bit it's a hu- it's a little big dog, so it's going to be the same size as the other dog, but it's a puppy at the moment, but that one's brown. The big one's black, and Vinny, for some reason, has an issue with black dogs. He's just—I don't know if he had any—if he had something happen before I got him. But yeah, it's weird. Well, it's just—just just, is this his whatever? <laughs> I don't know. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Right, he's now eating little bits off the floor little bits of food that he can find so it means he's hungry which means i need to get him some food obviously i suppose that's that's an obvious thing isn't it so what do i do about this camera though what do i do about the camera because it filmed for about what 35 40 minutes and then just stopped there was a full battery in there and it said there was six hours worth on there so I don't understand and I'm going to take out the the what's it unless it was just full because it's 64 gigabytes maybe that wasn't enough room on the on the disc I need uh, I do have a hundred and no 256 gigabyte one fresh in a, a new one in a fresh packet that I can perhaps put in there so maybe there was enough room on the disc, but the picture looked fairly good. I'm going to take it out and just put it and see what it looks like on my computer. If it looks okay, I might, I might start to play with the idea of filming. I mean, if I'd have done it on my phone, it would have been fine, but it's just it's not a great picture to be honest. Outside, it's good. But inside with the the light in this this not I just I just don't think that it it brings out the contours I just <laughs> it doesn't bring out the best in me. Um I think I basically I need a filter. I need some kind of a filter on the camera or on the video, which means I need to start using some decent editing software for the videos because at the moment I don't I use a free one and um, I suppose if I if I want to start making the videos look okay perhaps I need to start paying for you know an app or I don't know. There's a few, quite a few different ones. I mean, I do Canva. I can do video stuff on there, but it's limited size-wise. So I can't upload huge files to there. That's where the... the li- if, it, if, it, if I could, then I'd be fine because it's quite good for editing. But very basic editing. But... Um, hmm... I might have to look into that but what I'll do for this one is I'll just make this into a normal just a video like I did with the archive ones for YouTube and I'll post that tomorrow I'll do the editing tomorrow morning for this and I'll turn that into a little video just for those that like to listen on YouTube <sighs> And relax. Right, he's literally looking through his bits of dry food that he's dropped on the floor. So I need to go and feed the little... He's not bothering me though. Don't... He doesn't really... He begs when he wants to go out and stuff like that. But when he... I think he quite likes to hunt. You know, to look around for things that have fallen out of his bowl and stuff like that. Like, oh, what can I find a little scrap on the floor? I think he quite enjoys that. It's the hunter in him. It's a game, I guess.
What are you doing, Vin? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, my little baby girl? Are you okay? Are you okay? He's looking at me like, you silly, silly person. I'm like, okay, I have to be rude. Yeah, this is one of those, I feel like I've not talked about anything at all. Oh well. Well, thanks for listening. <laughs> I'm going to go. So remember, remember to be kind to yourself because you do deserve to be happy. Be gentle with yourself. And I am going to do a Q&A Friday this week. Lots of love. Bye.